hello everyone so today we are going to work on this simple platform lift system so when the character move to the to this lift you can see it moves to the upper level and here is another lift if i move here you see the platform start moving upward so it will move to the level that we define like this so and if i come back to the lift it will move again down same thing i will happen with the other one so this is what we are going to work on today this platform lift and before we get started with the video, I have a word from the sponsor who is me and I'd like to remind you that I have over 1600 videos to the day in my channel and for all those videos you can access all the project files for the membership of my Patreon club. I uh, leave the link in description below so you can everything uh, access all the projects that I have done from the day one. For the membership without any limitations okay let's get back to the tutorial okay so i have imported this model to be used as the platform lift to elevator uh, oh, first we need to adjust the collisions of this model otherwise we will not be able to enter it so collision uh, let me visualize the questions. Right. Let me first remove collisions and then add a box simplified collision from one of the sides we can Scale it down. Okay, that's for the bottom part. And for the sides, I'll duplicate this. We don't have to be super accurate, it's just enough to have some kind of a collision to keep the character within the bounds. Hold, drag to duplicate, right? It should be enough, good enough. Now let's see, yeah, character can enter the platform. Okay, now let's start implementing the blueprint so let me delete this and under lift i'll create a actor blueprint pp lift now here let me open the blueprint and i'll add this lift model under the default scene root this I'll move it to a position like this so we can uh, place this in uh, like adjacent to a wall or something it should be easy if I place the lift object like this uh, then we need to have some some kind of a scene object to represent the target points uh, the start position or bottom position and the top position of the lift to represent bottom position and the top position of the lift we need some scene component so i'll just add an empty scene component 
and it should be I'll set it to zero so that I can place it in the same place as the lift and I'll detach place it under the default scene root I'll call it lift water and duplicate lift top and I'll move lift top maybe 400 units up four thousand well we can adjust this let's see now let me place the lift object here blueprint here like this and lift top i'll place it in a position like this so we can move here okay now okay now first i will not think about uh, adding any switch so anything to call elevator when the character simply move into the uh, elevator or lift it should move up so for that i'll add a collide a box collision um attach it to the lift itself and make it larger okay now uh for now i'll make it overlap with pawn this overlap only pawn okay let's use that and then on component begin overlap let's simply have a small delay because once character get in here it's not a good idea to start moving so we'll add a one second delay so it would make things easier for me to test and if the lift is in the bottom it should move to the top if the lift is on the top it should move to the bottom so uh, i'll create a variable is uh, bottom so by default i'll make it true because in our default setup lift is in the bottom yeah right now what we need to do is get the lift call move component two and the location can be calculated from top or bottom now get relative location what's the relative transform zero okay so we have to select this what relative location we should be using if we are at bottom we should move to top if we are at top that means this variable is false we should move to bottom okay and over time so how do we calculate the time mm -hmm. 
Oh, we can do something like this. Get relative location and calculate distance from the current location to the target location. Then we can divide it by 100 should be enough not sure will that be too slow to fast but let's see right now let's see if I move here see now it's moving Oh, sorry it didn't move down because I didn't change this value so once it starts moving we need to test set Uh, is there a way to negate this? Yeah, not. I was looking for like a one note. So if we were not at the bottom, we should make it not at the bottom. That means stop. And also one more thing. Once we enter this, Let's disable collision for this. Uh, I'll name this lift collide. Condition enabled. No. Mm, wait. That may not be a good idea because once I enable condition, it can register as another character enter. The, the reason I wanted to disable condition is because it interferes with the character's IK system. So, because you may notice that the character's foot was up before. Oh, no, it's not. Nice. Not sure why. Okay, now if I come back, yeah, it's moving down. Okay, hmm. right. so now let me add another platform here. Just uh, a lift here. I just duplicated this cube and move it here. So, Okay, and we need to adjust the lift top. It should overlap with this top level. This. Okay, now let's test. Let's see, the lift is moving. And 
go here let us start moving again nice so if i come back it will start to move down but i can use my glide oh okay so yeah that's all for today perhaps in another episode if you are interested in this series i can add like different types of flips with doors and stuff and also maybe add a switchboard somewhere in the bottom and the top to call the elevator and once we enter the elevator we should press a button to start moving we can do improvements like that uh, let me know if you are interested in those things so okay thanks for watching updated project files will be available for download in patreon page link would be in the description below see you in another episode goodbye